Hey everyone, and welcome to this video guide on how to unlock the band selection menu on your Samsung device. No root required. In this guide, I'll walk you through the full process step by step, so even if you're doing this for the first time, you'll be able to follow along without any issues. Let's get started. Required apps. There are two apps you'll need for this process. First, the Set Edit app, which lets us change the side key button. Second, LADB, which gives us access to the ADB shell without needing a computer. You'll also need the Google Play Store to download these. Open the Play Store, tap the search bar, and type LADB. Select it from the list. This app is paid, so you can purchase it to support the developer. Alternatively, you can get it for free from GitHub. The link is in the video description. Just follow the steps shown to download and install the latest version. Next, search for Set Edit in the Play Store and install it. Developer Options, ADB Setup, and Set Edit Write Permission. Go to Settings, scroll to the bottom, and tap About Phone. Now tap Software Information. Find the build number and tap it several times until it enables developer options. You may be asked to enter your phone's PIN or password. Go back to the main settings screen. You'll now see developer options appear. Tap it and scroll down. Under debugging, find wireless debugging and toggle it on. Note, if you're not already connected to Wi-Fi, you'll need to connect. This feature won't work otherwise. Now go into the Wireless Debugging menu and tap Pair Device with Pairing Code. This will generate both a port number and a pairing code. Before entering anything, open the LADB app and use Split Screen Mode with the Debugging menu. Place LADB at the bottom of the screen so your keyboard doesn't block the pairing codes. Enter the codes into LADB. If the pairing is successful, an ADB shell will open automatically. If it doesn't, tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to More, enable Pair and Shell, then hit the Restart button. Once the shell opens, copy and paste the following command also found in the description. This gives SetEdit the permission it needs to edit to system values. Configuring the side key. Now let's configure the side key to open the band selection menu. Open settings, scroll down and tap advanced features. Then scroll down again and tap side key. You can also tap the search icon and just search for side key. In the side key menu, enable double press, choose open app, and tap the gear icon to pick an app. Any app will do. I've chosen the Torch app for this example. Now open the Set Edit app. In the top right corner, tap on System Table to open the dropdown. Select Global Table. Scroll down until you find the entry, Function Key Config Double Press Value. Note, a Reddit contributor found that on One UI 7 with the April security patch, you may also need to change function key config double press value and function key config double press app action. So, if the standard method doesn't work, try updating both of these. Tap the function name and choose edit value in the pop-up. Now copy and paste the following package name. It's also in the description. If you're on One UI 7 and this doesn't work, try this alternate version. After setting the new value, return to the side key menu and toggle between Quick Launch Camera and Open App in the settings. This will refresh the system's read of the new value. Now test it out by double pressing the side key or power button. If it's configured correctly, it should open the band selection menu.
If your device still receives regular security updates, use the Keep Open button from the Recents menu to prevent the screen from closing. Who knows? Samsung may patch this workaround in the future, too. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video guide. I really hope this helped you, especially if it got you access to the band selection menu. Samsung has patched just about every other way of getting in, even though it's genuinely useful for so many of us. Like many others, I had lost hope in ever accessing it again, short of rooting the phone. But thanks to OnBlue over on XDA forums who figured out this exploit and shared a full guide, the fight continues. Huge thanks as well to all the contributors in the Reddit thread who helped refine the method and figured out how to make it work on One UI 7. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe for more, and share your questions or experiences in the comments below. Enjoy tinkering, and I'll see you in the next one.